Yes, sir. Yes, doctor. All right. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, so we have got with us Dr. Nikita, who has got an amazing score of 174. Many, many congratulations, Dr. Nikita. You have done Thank you a so much. wonderful job. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you so much for your wishes. How, how you are you feeling, Dr. Nikita? I'm feeling so overwhelmed and happy and relieved and elevated. I'm thankful. Thankful to all the DEBS faculty, to, to the entire team of DEBS for guiding me through all the tough times and for providing such such good and amazing teachers who have taught me so much even in these past few months. And it is through their teaching and through their lessons that I have received such an amazing score. So thank you so much, Doctor, and everyone at DEBS. Great, great, great. So, Dr. Nitika, from which university have you graduated? I've graduated from University of Perpetual Health in the Philippines, Janelta Foundation School of Medicine. Great, great. Wonderful, wonderful. What was your strategy, Dr. Nikita? So, this time, the paper was slightly on the difficult side, especially the part two of the exam, right? So yes, doctor. What was your strategy? Can you please share with our listeners? Yes, sure. The first uh, half of the paper was really good. The questions were direct, and I think everyone uh, was very happy with the first half. But when the second half started, um, the first uh, 50 questions were completely, I think it shocked many students who were giving the exam. I could just feel the energy in the room shift after the second half started. So my strategy was that I made sure to read the question at least five times. I, I made sure to read the question and read each and every option. And I followed Dr. Sumer Sethi's strategy of ruling out. So I followed his strategy, especially in questions which were completely out of the syllabus or like questions which I haven't read before. So I followed Dr. Sumer's uh, strategy of ruling out. So um, I was actually not very happy with the second half, but and I was not expecting such a high score, but thankful Thanks to Dr. Sumer for his wonderful strategy of ruling out uh, questions which I was stuck in. And yes, everything went well. And also, um, the last, uh, the DFX really helped me. I revised the DFX at least uh, three times. And I made sure that I revised the DFX thoroughly. I was very thorough with the DFX before entering the exam. So that helped me a lot. <laughs> so I'm so thankful and so grateful. So I want to mention one very important thing that you have just said that always try to eliminate the options one by one. So if yes, you doctor. do like this, so you decrease the chance of picking up the incorrect option to nearly zero, right? So yes, that doctor. is one very important method. And you mentioned about DFX, which is Dance FMG Express. So DFX is similar to what we do for me, PG and INICT aspirants. So that is DVT, dance visual tree. So DFX is dance FMG express. So how helpful was DFX in total for revision in the last one month of preparation? In the last one month of preparation, I relied solely on the DFX notes, the DFX books. I made sure that I was very thorough with the DFX notes. I read through all of the books all of the 19 subjects, I did not leave out one subject. I read through all the 19 subjects at least three times. And I solved the uh, DBQ, the Dam's Goat series. So I tried to solve all of the questions, especially from the NEET section, the FMG section, the INICET section as well. So the in the questions where uh, which I had not uh, been, been very clear with, so there was the video explanation through the Dam's uh, DBQ through the GOAT uh, series. So it was so clear and concise and, and it was very easy to learn, especially for uh, visual learners like me. So who it was very easy for me to grasp the concept through the, through, through the videos that were provided in the GOAT series as well. So I'm so grateful that DAMS also provided such, um, such a way of learning in, in the app. So what I'm understanding uh, from you is that questions are equally important. We have to keep practicing MCQs, right? Yes. Yes, doctor. You have to keep practicing 
MCQs, at least in a day, you have to uh, practice at least maybe 100. I think I did about 200 questions in a day. So my speed also during the exam was um, I wasn't overwhelmed with the timer. In fact, I had finished uh, way before the timer even uh, got over, at least 10 minutes before the timer was up. So that was how I increased my speed by practicing through the questions in the DAMS app. Awesome, awesome. Any special message you would like to give to all your juniors who are going to sit in the exam in the month of December, January? Yes, yes, definitely. What should, be, how, what should be their approach right from the I, beginning? I think uh, at first you should get your concept clear because without getting your concept and your base strong, it's really pointless to try to understand complex notes because you will be completely blank. So you have to strengthen your concept first. Like for example, the December exams will be happening in another five months, four to five months. So spend at least two months building your concept and towards the end, maybe like uh, two months before the exam, to really focus on the DFX series and to read uh, each and every subject, not to leave out one subject either because every mark counts. And if you get a uh, good score, even from the minor subjects, that's not going to matter on the like where you got your score from. It actually depends on what you've read. So you have to read each and every subject wholeheartedly, honestly. And yeah, that is more than enough to, uh, to armor you for the FMG exam. That's, that's another big message that we have to keep revising the things and we have to read everything conceptually. And as yes. we always say, it is always better to do five things five times than doing ten things one time. Yes, exactly, doctor. <laughs> any, any, any specific message for any specific faculty with whom you felt a little more connected? Any, um, honestly, any... Yeah. yeah, honestly, all of the faculty of DEMS because I've attended all of the classes, each and every class. I'd, I had not missed a beat either online or offline. I tried my best to attend each and every class. And I can say that the faculty of DAMS are something else. Each and every teacher was, uh, they had their own character. They had their own way of teaching. And for and the way the faculty of DAMS has taught me especially, um, I will not forget their words and their, especially, especially their words of motivation. I will not forget their words of motivation. For example, you, doctor, you were so um, hands-on with the, with the, with all the students, even though there were times when classes went on till about maybe till about late at night, but you still had the same energy that you did, special as compared to the start of the class. So you were an amazing energy and inspiration, doctor, for all of us. And also, doctor, deep team, ma'am, and doctor Sumer, of course, doctor Deepak Arora, doctor Sandeep. All of these faculties have made such an impact in my life and I'll never forget your words of advice, especially in times when we feel like we're very lost and you have really motivated not just me, but I'm sure many, many, many students. So I just want to thank you and the faculty of dance and the whole dance team wholeheartedly. That's, that, that's so sweet of you. That's so sweet of you. Any final words for the students whom you would like to, you know, kind of say so that they should follow your steps and they should be able to crack the exam with a great score. Yes, yes, definitely. So my advice would be to first to just be very positive, have a very clear mind when you study. Don't study with a with an angry mind or when you're upset. Make sure that you clear your mind. Try to, even if it's you find it difficult, make sure you listen to some uh, guided meditation or maybe some good 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 music that will put you in a good mood and then clear your mind and then make sure that you study with a happy mind and not you should not be frustrated that, oh, I am forced to study or this exam is such a big obstacle. Take it as a great opportunity to better yourself so that when the day of the exam comes, you will approach the exam in the same mindset to be very positive and very clear in your head, especially. And also to always pray, pray to God and to thank him always for bringing you so far that you can even give this exam in the first place. So always. And always believe that there is someone up there who is constantly yes. watching you, taking care of you, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Always All be right. always be grateful for that. All right, great, great. Thank you so much, Dr. Nikita, for talking to us. And many, many congratulations. Do congratulate your parents from our side. So yes, I want to see you now hearing Need PG 
and INI CT exam with flying colors, and then we'll have another interview where you will be talking about how you prepared for NEET PG and INI CT, how you got the top rank. Yes, yes, doctor. Thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart to everyone in DAMS. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much, Dr. Nikita. Bye-bye. Yes. Thank Bye. you, doctor. Bye-bye.